Oh, oh, oh. Riley's. So, what's going on, great what's people? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, y'all? Um, I th- I don't I'm trying to think that we covered this video in the past. Did we cover this or did we just watch it? I can't remember. Is this the one where she is talking to the the only fans girl mm-hmm. but we... i don't know about this particular part so i don't know what i know it was a long video, video. i don't remember did we even post this... it uh yeah i, I don't remember so. post them but i wanted to hone in on this part of it because it made me think about it. it i saw it come up but it made me think about it so candace owens was um dealing you know this one she was on the um whatever podcast y'all saw this you know might have saw the whole interview but when she was talking to the girl that was an atheist, I zoom, I didn't zoom in to that. I didn't, I had I didn't I kind of looked over it that the girl who was an atheist had a cross on. And what's so interesting to me to how only in Christianity people can believe what they want to believe, do what they want to do, and they go buy a cross. I never see people. I never seen. Um, I you know you don't you don't see you don't see people rocking yarmulkes. I mean you don't see people with with um, I'm a, you know I'm gonna put on um, Islamic attire. And why I have a, you know, a, a denial about something shirt. Like, I, I don't, only mockery I see normally is with Christianity. That's the normal mockery. So I want to play this clip. Because I was like, I had to see it again. I'm like, what is her response? Why are people, and I'm like, so many people think like this. So many people think like this with the same kind of thinking. God don't like it. God don't want to be mocked, my boy. Have a cross necklace, but then your shirt says, made in hell. Yes, it Can does. You- I'm a little confused. Ironic. Can you? So, I mean, the, I'm a little confused. The stone is red, so it matched. You know. Red. Why like are you the, wearing a cross you, on your neck? And you know, just on a side note, people get it so confused in the world. People that have no spiritual base in who God is and who the devil is. Just because you think, because we as little kids and the world teaches you. That, oh, the devil wears red. The devil ain't in red. So when she said the stone, oh, I got red in the stone. What does that mean? The devil think you stupid. Or but hell, I think hell might be red. Who said? I don't know. TV. They look at TV. No. Well, I, I'll give a talk about that eventually one day. But, um yeah, let me play this. Color coordinating with your neck. Because I don't see a cross as religious, so... Okay. I just like you don't see a marriage as religious. So I don't think don't, that a marriage has a meaning, which is why it's like people are out of stage and people are like, what is a woman? Because they just go, well, we're going to oh. call it a marriage, but we're going to sleep with other people. We're going to bring in prostitutes. We're going to outsource raising the kids where we're never going to have kids. You're calling it a family. It's not a family. And this is what it is. They just, the words have no meaning, right? Mm. I'm wearing the cross. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't think of it as religious. Okay. Well, Jesus Christ died on the cross. You yeah. think that. That's what you think. Wait, it's that's been what proven. you think. So why are you wearing the cross? And sex workers. I, I think that the design wait, is cute. Yeah. Better I, wait, wait, wait. Real I quick. grew up Hold Catholic. I was religious, and I'm not anymore. I don't have to believe in what you believe, and I can say that if I didn't say you had to believe, I asked you a question. But I you're said, why are you wearing the cross? Okay, and you're saying that the relig- the religious aspect of marriage is the only thing that matters. It's not because people don't follow what you believe. Yeah. Okay, I asked you why you're wearing the cross, and you said because you thought it was cute. Yeah, I'm and glad I did. we got an answer. She's wearing the cross around her neck because she thinks it's cute. I do. Would you I'm not religious. Also wear like a star of David. It's cute. Well, well, like because if it was cute, would you wear <laughs> well, okay, well, it? Well, I just I don't mean know like where we're going. I'm asking that because I wonder. Well, like I my have, guess is that you would think that you, maybe you wouldn't wear a star of David because you're like, oh, this is maybe like disrespectful to people who are. Are you making Jewish. the argument? Maybe I mean. No, I'm. I'm. I'm just. The secular. It's a very, it's a very here, good question. I, I, I'm just saying. Devil's advocate here. Secular argument. You, someone might just say that the cross is just maybe. It maybe it's more aesthetically. Pleasing. pleasing even for an atheist i don't know sure but liberals okay. are all about Look. like having you respect wear, like, and it's so like cute like a yarmulke. Yama- right. Would you wear a yarmulke? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think right. those are very oh, different. Are you talking like why yeah. I'm saying, different I'm, from the yarm- I'm, yarmulke? I'm just. I mean, I was raised Catholic, and I, that's just what does that wear mean? No. You thought it was cute. No, I wouldn't. Wear, I mean, a yarmulke is completely different than no, a cross that's been adapted. You can buy a cross necklace anywhere. There is. Well, you heard it there first on the whatever podcast it's totally fine to disrespect the cross because like you know it's cute and you can just like wear a cross like whenever like you want because it's just cute whereas you shouldn't disrespect the star of david or yamaka because it's somehow different again this brings me back to that discussion that i had with about why he converted to the muslim faith which i disagree with his conversion but his reasons for having converted made me very sad when he said that the West has lost 
the battle faith-wise mm -hmm. that people openly mock Christians. What you're right. watching is young women that are openly mocking the Christian faith. They don't care. She doesn't care. I mean, to say, I don't believe what you believe, what do you mean by that? Muslims and Jews and Christians agree on the ex historical existence of Jesus Christ, whether or not they view him as the Lord and the Savior might be a discrepancy. But in his existence, what are you saying when you're wearing this with a made in hell shirt? So believers, I'm going to say this, man. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, hold on. I want to show this, this Bible verse too. Um, well, while you're on. pulling up the Bible verse, I'm going to say that because of the way, you know, Christians have displayed, you know, themselves, and I can say myself included, I'm not going to put myself on no pedestal by no means. You know, the closer that you get to God and you really are learning more about who Christ is in you and you read the word and you're studying to show yourself approved and you're more and you're around more people who walk the walk the way that's more pleasing to God than the world you start realizing that some of the things that you thought were okay to do were really not okay to do and you're causing other people who may not believe to stumble or other Christians who believe who don't who are not as uh, strong in the faith as you so yeah. I'm not condoning what she's saying at all, but she believes, you know, her corrupt thinking has come from other corrupt people's behaviors yeah. that have been in the faith yeah. that have blurred the lines Absolutely. and completely confused her. She says she grew up Catholic. OK, I hear I hear you. But what does that mean? And in the same way, in the same way, what. So this is what God says about it. He said in Galatians six, six, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked for whomever whatsoever whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of his spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we not faint. If we faint if, not. If we faint not. So. Amen. When you're mocking, when you're mocking God, you're going to reap what you're doing. You're going to reap. So you wearing that cross. First of all, just because you have a cross, it shows you definitely have no protection, which she don't believe anyway. So my question is, when did the cross become fashionable? When did it just be fashionable without the salvation, but then the look of the cross that you that you're attracted to? And why is it that I see no other beliefs? Well, I do. I see evil eyes and all the other stuff those i don't know what those stuff tied back to i see people wearing that but the cross is the one that you see people with the most that have no belief but they wear a cross and they think they're protected because you got a jesus piece in that don't mean nothing if you don't believe in jesus it means nothing you still get demonically attacked you still get hit with the necklace on yeah but that's a normal thing in our in our culture mock christianity don't mock no other belief and i think too some of it is ignorance people think that oh because they believe because they love god that their you know worldly behaviors are going to be condoned and god is like oh no it's okay you can keep on doing that don't worry about it i forgive you but it ain't like that mm -hmm. it ain't like that right it's not like that it's not no he doesn't he, once he forgives you he doesn't expect you to keep on doing the same thing and you keep asking for forgiveness that ain't it and some people are going to argue and say that it is it. But no, that's not it. And look, you know how she said, we talk about this all the time. You know how she said, well, I grew up Catholic. That's just like that person that come up to you talking about, man, when I was in high school, I was the best football player. Nobody cares. This ain't related. Where are you now? It ain't even a point even throwing that up there because that ain't that, that you really didn't prove no point. And, you know, when Prophet said that the you know one of the, the people change and become christian well people become christian to change not to keep living the same life that they live before they accept the christ but that's not what she's doing i know she no, I'm, but i'm yeah. just saying yeah. but when you do you it's it's it's, it's a difference yeah. it's not the same you don't continue to live your old man you the old man falls away and you come into the new, new man. man. She has no foundation. Yeah. Her, that's why she's saying she grew up Catholic. Shaky foundation. Yeah. So much is out there about a lot of people who grow up Catholic and live and, and, and they have a lot of things that are that are confusing. And you may have many Catholics who grew up and, and, and were not confused, yeah. who went on to live a life that was pleasing according to God. Yeah. And then. There are many who talk about their things openly on social media, on YouTube, and talk about how they grew up. And it, and they were not, they had to get further, uh, you know, counseling, therapy, whatever. But she's confused. Yes. 
But the, people She's just confused. don't know. This is all my and great. doesn't they care to really, you know, want to know know the truth. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't care. She, like she said, she doesn't have to believe what you believe. And she's stuck in that world that she in. You know how you only see in that world that you in. So anything that's not from that world that you in is like and not maybe real. She's not, maybe she's not wanting to change right now. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because yeah. people I, and I and I'm not. Well, everybody you know, gonna have. Everybody gonna have her. opportunity. Well, I'm not judging her. Everybody gonna have opportunity. Just saying. Just saying. But you know, we we all think we have more time. And we don't. We, we all think, think we about have more every time. Day. Every day somebody doesn't wake up. I have to think about At that At some every point day. something happens and someone may not wake up. Every morning I get up and I say, thank you, Jesus, first, because I get another opportunity to do it all over again today. And on a side note, do you ever think? Because like, I don't so, wake myself up. Nobody so, does. We don't wake ourselves up. So, look, I'm, I'm 40 now. I'm 40. What? And um, I find myself, as I get, the older I get, the more the, the, the mind, the thinking of death comes up not saying just in fear but to think in you need to get to it because i'm like okay i'm 40 now and you just i'm just driving on the road like yo i'm 40 what am i supposed to be what else do i need to be doing because the older you get the closer you get to your time so you're going to start finding the older you get how much time you wasted and she's going to find out one day i hope she finds she she's pointed to the light because she's going to look back and say find what she thought what she thought was nonsense so well, you ain't got, we don't have so much is, time. We don't have so much time. The good thing about it is as long as you are alive, you have an opportunity to get to know God, get to know Christ yeah. and accept him as your Lord and Savior and walk a new man. You know, do things different. Does he expect you to be perfect every day? Of course not. But he expects you to get better and better and better in some way every day. Do yeah. something a little bit better than you did the day before. Yeah. And just know your life ain't permanent. Tomorrow could be that day. Yeah. And that's for all of us. We don't know. We wake up, we go to bed, we plan our lives, we plan the days, we try to plan for the future. And we don't know what God has in store for us. That's but right. The key, the key, no matter what your status is, where you live in the world, whatever you're doing. Yeah. The key is to accept him before your lamp is snuffed out. All right. And make that shift. And on that note, leading to the water. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this content, I really love doing Candace Owens. I really, really love um, love her. I admire how she moves. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Like the video. And give us some comment section below. We got to go. See you tomorrow.